from Samara and well, we're going through a cash flow crisis as we speak um, during COVID-19. Uh, but my team and myself are 100 or 1000% here to committed to help you. So the first thing I'm gonna talk about is the team. How your team culture will get you through this um, absolute um, cash flow nightmare. So what should you be doing? So there's a book that I'll firstly recommend is this, okay? It's called The Infinite Game by Simon Sinek. Now, Simon Sinek is a well-known author and he wrote a book called Start With Why. He's very well known on the TED series and this was a recent book that he wrote, The Infinite Game. And he basically says you either have a finite mindset or an infinite mindset and in business. Now, and finite mindsets mean that you're worried about, you're looking in the short term, you're trying to hoard things, you're trying to um, report things on a quarterly basis or a monthly basis, which is fine, but you really gotta look at things beyond the um, current uh, situation. What he's trying to say is try and build a business for the long term um, into the next generation. Now you must be wondering, well, I'm just trying to survive this by day by day. I get that, okay, but you've got to try and plan and organize your organization into a point where it will go into the next generation. Now, how would you do that in this current situation that we're in with COVID-19 and with all the cash flow issues and the business issues that you may be having? Well, in my mind, it goes back to one thing, okay? Only one thing that actually matters here is your team, okay? Um, because your team are there to support you. Your team will be there to help you, okay? So what do you need to do? Um, stand by your team, okay? Support them, okay? They're worried, they're concerned, and I appreciate you're worried and you are concerned, okay, about what's gonna happen. But if you work together as a team, you'll be supporting not only your individual team members, you'll be supporting your business, you'll be supporting your team's family, you'll be supporting your local community, Therefore, it's so imperative that you get them on board and buy into what you're trying to achieve with your business. So this is a perfect opportunity for you to actually ascertain and get clarity of what you're trying to achieve with your business, where you're trying to take it to, and get this, these team members to buy into what you're trying to do. Now you may be thinking, well, my team, they've got nothing to do there, there's no customers, there's no patients. Fair enough, okay? Well, therefore, you have to redistribute tasks get them involved, get them engaged to do things differently, to help you. Um, they could come up with new ideas for when you do come out of this nightmare situation, come up with new content, come up with videos, come up with marketing suggestions, change things around. But you can't do that on your own, okay? And you can't do that without a team. Things will have to change, of course. You might have to make some changes within your team. You may have to make some um, certain sacrifices. I get that but there'll be a core team of great people that you have already within your team that you need to support, okay? If you can support them, they will support you and that will be by the loyalty that, will need, that you will need post COVID-19 because that will grow your business and you'll hit the road running when we do get out of this, okay? So remember, infinite game, Simon Sinek, stand by your team as they need you, but you need them as well. Cheers.